finding the remainder is a topic that many students forget because it's something that you learn in elementary school when you first learn to divide, but then you never really use it explicitly again until you see it on the old SAT in the math section. So in this video, I want to show you how you can use your calculator to find the remainder if you can't do it in your head or if you don't have some other methods to do it. So let's say we have this question. What is the remainder when 54 is divided by 7? Now typically what students will do to find this is they'll go to their calculator, they'll divide 54 by 7 because they'll maybe remember that you got to do that, and then they'll get 7.714 and they'll say okay 7.714 and then they'll say oh well maybe the remainder is like this 0.7 or 0.714 or something. And in some sense, yeah, this is the remainder, but this is the decimal form of the remainder, and we don't want that. We want the integer form of the remainder, because the remainder is what is left over after you've divided as much as you can into your number. So if we do it the long division way, just to illustrate, so how many times does 7 go into 54 equally? Well, 7 times 6 is 42, 7 times 7 is 49, 7 times 8 is 56. So uh, it's going to go in equally seven times. Right, we put 49 down here because 7 times 7 is 49. And we subtract these and we get 5. And notice since five, 7 can't go into 5 equally, our remainder is 5. Right, That's the long division way. But how can you use your calculator to solve it if you don't want to do the long division? Or if you have a bigger number, if you're dividing, I don't know, 1047 by 13, maybe it's easier to do it with a calculator rather than to do it by hand. And this is how it works. So you go ahead and you, there's two ways to do it. The way I like doing it is you divide by your number and you get this. Step two is you subtract off whatever is in front of the decimal. So since it's 7.714, I'm going to subtract 7. And then you're left over with that decimal, which is basically your remainder in the decimal form. And what you do then is you multiply this by what you divided by originally. So since I divided by 7, I'm going to multiply by 7 and I get my integer remainder 5. Another way to do it is to again divide your, let's do another example. Let's say we have 62 and we want to divide it by 5 and find the remainder. So notice I could do it the other way, I could do 62 divided by 5, that's 12.4, I'll subtract off the 12, then I'll times that decimal by what I divided by and I get the remainder 2. Another way to do it though is to do your division, so 62 divided by 5. It goes in equally 12 times, so what I can do is say, okay, if it's going in equally 12 times, well, 12 times 5 is 60, and then I can subtract 62, my original number, minus the 60, just like I was doing the long division, and again, I get remainder 2. I like the first way better. So let's do one more example. 1,679 divided by 13. Hopefully this doesn't go in equally, we'll find out. 1,679 divided by 13. Cool, so it doesn't. So what I'll do to find the remainder is I'll subtract 129. That leaves me with the decimal. I'll multiply by what I divided by, which was 13, and I get remainder two. So it's a nice little quick way of finding your remainder. Uh, as long, again, you have to remember that the remainder is that integer left over after you divide. It is not the quotient. So another mistake that students will make is they'll say, oh, um, let's say for example, we have this case. What is the remainder when 63 is divided by 9? Well, they would go to their calculator and say, okay, 63 divided by 9, and you get 7. And they might say, well, okay, then the remainder is 7. Well, no, this is the quotient. The quotient, what you actually get when you divide 63 by 9 is 7. There's actually no remainder in this case because it divides in equally. So you have to keep track of the quotient versus the remainder and if you have to find the remainder on SAT math questions, if you can't do it in your head or if you don't want to do it with long division, you can use this calculator technique. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll and you can find the link in the description below the video.